I mean, guys that are in big space. I was on the phone with A-Rod this morning. Awesome dude. Uh, me and him were talking about real estate, a little baseball. Um, so look what I want to do tonight real quick. I discovered something really big today. Really big. Okay, and, it, and it's this, if you guys want it. Um, if you don't know who I am, I've written 13 best-selling business programs. We consult Fortune 500 companies. Uh, that's where I got known, helping companies change their customer interaction and exchange and conversions, both online and in stores. Uh, it resulted in multi hundreds of billions, multi hundreds of billions of dollars in sales worldwide, uh, where entire industries and companies have changed the way they handle people. In the last four or five years, some of you know me and follow me here on Instagram because I started working with individual individual companies. Uh, through mentor programs, coaching programs, and our famous, translated in 11 languages now, Cardo and You, used by over 55 million, literally 55 million logins on that program. So, yeah, hundreds of billions of dollars in sales. I've been doing it for 30 years, so what is that? I don't know. What is that? It's only about 300 million a year. It's not a big deal, it really is not. But there's so much money out there. I think Blackstone's sitting on 185 billion in cash right now. Okay, so this is what I learned today. Check it out. If you guys want to come in and ask questions, let me know. If you got a check mark, I'm definitely not going to let you in. Um, yeah, rent's due, baby. Rent's due every day, not once a month. Oh, the rent's due. It's due every day. Okay, look, this is what I want to tell you guys. If you had somebody that was drowning, okay, you're on the boat, they're drowning, and they're 30 feet away, 30 feet away, and you had a rope with a, with a life uh, preserver that was maybe 15 feet. They got to swim the other 15 feet. You cannot get the boat any closer, and you can't get the life preserver any closer. Um, let me invite this guy right here. I love these people. We invite him in. I bet she punks out. D. Quentin. Bet she punks out like a little bitch. Um, dude, what are you going to tell the guy? The guy's drowning. You threw him the raft. Okay, it's 15 feet away. He's got, you, you threw him 15 feet. You cut the, the distance in half. Okay, watch the punk won't, the, the punk won't, won't come in. What are you going to do? You're not going to save them. They got to save themselves. You're not going to jump in the water. There's nobody else in the boat. You jump in the water, boom, you're over. You're both done. Okay? You don't have, you have one thing that you can throw them, you throw it. You're going to tell him, swim, swim. You're going to yell at him. You're not going to try to love him in. You're going to yell at him, swim. Okay, a lot of you right now, you need to be yelled at. Yeah, the punk didn't come in. The punk, uh, you're going to yell at him. You're going to yell at him. You're going to scream at him. You're going to tell him to get the fuck, come fucking, keep trying, don't die. I remember that scene in... Uh, in uh, The Abyss, in the movie The Abyss, and where, where she's dying, and he slapped her and said, bitch, don't die, and he hit her on the chest, you know, like, that's what you guys need to do right now, okay? You got to love somebody enough to scream at them. You got to love your customer enough to say, do this, okay? You worried about the money? You worried about your time? You worried about your family? You need to worry about not being in business tomorrow. Okay, you guys are worried about the wrong stuff. I'm worried about putting money on the credit card. You don't need to worry about credit cards. You don't even need to worry about coronavirus. Okay? You guys don't need to worry about the virus. Hey, the virus ain't gonna kill you guys. Okay? The virus ain't gonna kill you, trust me. The virus is gonna kill some people. Cancer is gonna kill some people. Heart disease is gonna kill people. AIDS is going to kill people. Old age is going to kill people. Car wrecks are going to kill people, okay? Poverty is going to kill a bunch of people. I guarantee you poverty is going to kill more people this year than the coronavirus will. So the other thing that's going to kill people is quitting. You're going to, you're going to kill your dreams, okay? You know, the government never gets involved in that. You're going to kill your dreams, man. You guys are killing your dreams. You kill your dreams. You give up on a dream. You give up on a dream, you just kill part of yourself. You end up with a life prison, a life life sentence. 
life sentence. Okay, what's a life sentence? Living below your your ability, not being who you could be. Okay, look, folks, it's time for everybody quit being a Republican or a Democrat. Time for you to be the the full the full you. Okay, how much can you do? How many calls can you make? How many contacts can you make? Okay, this this success thing because success is a contact sport. You got to go out and fight for it. Okay, you got to go out and you got to go out and push and shove for it. You can be nice. You need to be a professional, but look at some point. If you want to move through the barriers on this planet, through the obstacles, through the challenges, through the suppression. Okay, we're being suppressed right now on this planet economically. Choice to go to work. Our immune systems are being suppressed. We're being terrified into believing that we're going to get sick when most people are not. What's going, who, how many people are going to die in America? 80,000, 90,000, 100,000, 150,000, 200,000. 600,000 people died last year because of cancer and heart disease. And that happens every year. You just had a middle class in America that just got slaughtered in two months. The only thing keeping those people together is checks from the government, which at some point will end. You guys got to believe not in the law of attraction, but the law of action. This is a mental game. It's a mental game and it's an action game. Life is a mental game. I got to fix my mental. I got to believe I can have stuff. I got to believe there's going to be a future. Okay. You guys that believe in the law of attraction. Okay. You're like, okay, man, I believe in the law of attraction. I am great. I am great. I am great. And then you save all your money in the bank. Why are you saving your money if you're so fucking great? You're saving your money because you're worried about that emergency. Okay? The law of action can negate the law of attraction. You got to get them both right. You got to get, you got to get, you got to get everything. You got to get you on the same page. Forget, forget about getting your girlfriend on the same page. You got to get you on the same page. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, but I'm not going to invest in my business. You're in a contradiction. You are the law of uh, attraction. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. And the most you do about that is you get a business card and a website and a landing page. Okay. And you go buy a check mark on Instagram. Man, that, that ain't it. You got you to do the action, folks. Okay. I know guys that have gone out and bought influence. I can think about my biceps, but I ain't going to make them bigger. If I think about them and do the work, boom, we good. Okay, so I need to think about, hey, man, I'm going to get my biceps to have a ball, but then I got to come do the work. I know guys that have bought stages, have bought their way into, into our, uh, groups, have bought uh, the, the, to be on next to the right person, to get the right picture with the right person, but then they don't go home and take action on it. Okay, you got to take action on it. Meaning what? I can't just be on somebody's stage. I have to make sure that me and him have commerce together. You got to have commerce with people. You have to have exchange. You think the law of attraction is pow powerful? How about this? The law of exchange. Okay. I do something for somebody in power. They do something back for me. Next thing you know, I do something else for them and they do something else for me. And the next thing you know, we keep doing this and we keep getting attention and we keep helping one another. And next thing you know, you know what? If you keep doing that, money's going to show up because people that are in power are going to want some money. Okay. Cause they got charities to fund. They got obligations to fund. They got all kinds of commitments they've made. The law of attraction and the law of action have to be joined. You got to get the mental right. That's why I spend so much time fixing my spiritual. I'm not talking about my brain, dude. I'm talking about me. Who's running me? Who's running the body? Who's running this physical unit that's aging? So you guys want to know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just telling you, man, if I was you, if I was you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care whether you like Grant or not. Doesn't matter whether you like my, 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 what's my, 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 uh, my, uh, slang, my presentation, my accent, how I say it, how I present myself. What does it matter, dude? What does it matter about all that stuff? Dude, you guys should study people. What are they doing that's working? If, if, if most of what they're doing doesn't work, then don't study them. If they're doing stuff that's winning. Okay? I came from nothing. 
So if, if you want to know how to get rich, if you want to know how to get rich, you started rich and you want to know how to get richer. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't start rich. I started with no money. Okay, who wants to ask some questions? Who wants to come in here? Let me know. Um, if you want to come in, just ask a question down below. I started from nothing, folks. Okay, hey, did I start with money? Oh, yeah, I started with money. $40,000 in debt. Knew no one in my community. Had no connections. Anybody that did know me didn't think much of me. Okay, had a drug problem from 16 years old to 25, nine years of my life. The, 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 the most, probably the most important years of my life, I blew. Those influential years. Um, and it's like, okay, dude, what, 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 what am I, what am I going to do? I said, 25, I was broke. Lake Charles, Louisiana, broke, 25 years old, 40,000 in debt. And, uh, and, uh, A job I hated. Fired from seven jobs. I thought it was six, and then I remembered another job I had. Furniture salesman, car salesman, shoe salesman, uh, fish salesman, refinery worker, supply boat, carpenter. Uh, what was the other one? There's one I'm forgetting again. Insurance, insurance apprentice, whatever the hell that meant. Accounting, uh, accounting assistant bookkeeper. My dad died when I was 10. I didn't have anybody to help me or direct me or guide me. 25, I'm like, enough of this fucking, this is fucking nuts. I, I, I'm having a life sentence, not a life, a life sentence of living far below my, my ability. So lost every one of those jobs. And then I'm like, I got to figure a way out here. Yeah, I sold fish door to door. My open, my greeting was, who wants fish? I said, I'm going to get myself in a position where people follow me. You can't do that from behind, folks. You cannot... Expect people to follow you if you stay behind, okay? DM me that tonight. If you heard this message, if it hit you, you cannot lead people if you stay behind. And that's what I learned today. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I got to get out front again with my people, okay? Whether that's you guys on Instagram that follow me or my 500 employees, I got to get out in front. I got to get them to see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to take some people in for questions right now. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm here to pull for you. I'm pulling for you. Okay. I want you to do well. What's up? Hello, Cardon. How you doing, man? How you doing, Rose? Hello. That's cool. It's from Brazil. Yeah. I love Brazil, man. Where, where in Brazil are you? Uh-oh. Lost him. He's in Brazil. Okay. Like we reached out last year. Went to Brazil last year, 18 other countries. Man, the people down there, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, man, I want to come back there. Best, best acai bowls I've ever had in the world. Uh, hey, Elena, can you tell Ryan to come on my stream? Uh, want to congratulate the people that sent us money today at Cardo Capital, $745,000 collected in today. Uh, congratulations, guys. That's almost $2.5 million worth of real estate that was purchased in the fund. Uh, you guys that want to invest with us, CardoneCapital.com, CardoneCapital.com. What's going on, buddy? Hey, big guy. How are you? See you get the workout on. Good man. How, how you doing, brother? Where are you? I'm in China. This is Bo from China, brother. Called into your show. Where in China? Uh, the Northeast, Dalian. Wow, man. That's amazing. It's next to North Korea. Like, like, oh, like I could see North Korea. Oh, you can see North Korea there. from where you are? Pretty, pretty close. It's about two yeah. hours. Okay. In the car. Yeah. yeah. So what's China like? I haven't been there. Yeah. Well, you should come over sometime, man. You know, it's very different. Culture. I want to come get me some Wuhan. Get, yeah, come get, some, get a, get a, there's no Asahi bowls, but we got Wuhan bowls. Yeah, dude. Know? The first time I heard Wuhan, I thought Wuhan 
was the thing a young 17 year old thinks about every second of the day. Yeah, a little, a little, a little taste of Wuhan. That I thought Wuhan was, was a dirty word. Was the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, the sushi. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Let, let, um, let me, so I wanted to call it. Here's my question, Grant. So I came here to China. I'm doing a job that is beneath me. Before I was here, I was in Sydney doing a sales job where I met you and Elena at the, uh, the opera house. And, uh, you know, my ego, I have a huge issue with my ego. It's doing work that I know is beneath me, and it's, it's lessening my productivity at my job, and it's affecting other people because I can't get over this. I, I, I went from being here to now I'm doing this work, and I should be yeah. grateful because I, I have work. A lot of people don't even have work here, right? Or they've been cut, you know, half their, their, their wages. Why am I suffering so much with ego and getting over this? I was, I was once doing this job. Now I have to do you know, I have to teach kids one, two, three, A, B, C, and, uh, yeah. you know, so, ego. So let, let me just tell you, man, first of all, I just want to really acknowledge and admire you for, for being able, being aware enough to understand that that's a problem for you. Yeah. There's Thank a book you. called The Problems of Work. Dude, I got it. Okay. I, I've read it two times. Two go times. Go through it I've again. Now, 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 this time when you go yeah. through it, it's an easy book, right? It's an easy book to read. Yeah. This, time go, this time, go through it and look at how your ego is in that uh -huh. book. Okay. And, and uh, because I have the same problem, man. My ego. It's the control all, thing. It, huh? It's that control thing, man. It, like being able to be controlled allows me to control other things. And I noticed that when I'm not allowing myself to be controlled by someone or something, it, 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 it impacts my ability to, to give direction and to lead and to control other things. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not allowing myself to be controlled by my work or by a manager or by somebody. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're always going to be controlled. So like, and, and you know, you know, you need to handle this because so two things, one, you know, it, that's good Two Two, you should, yeah. you should start looking for, because like, like if you can't handle that, you're not going to ever work with a guy like me either. Exactly. Cause yeah, that's gonna, the goal. We'll, we'll, we'll bring you in and then we'll blow you out or you'll, you'll screw up the interview because you'll, you'll try to come across as the know-it-all guy. Right. Right, exactly. So right. The, the, the third thing I would tell you to do is this. Write your goals down every morning. Uh-huh. And don't worry about how you're going to get there. Okay? You need ego, man. Like, I used to hear ego is uh, uh, edging God out. I don't think so, yeah. man. I don't think so. I used to believe that. I don't want to have any ego. It's good to have some ego. But, but I got to get into a system where I can support the rest of the system so we can all win. Because if, if, if the people around me don't win, I'm I'm just yeah. uh, I'm just all by myself and alone again. That's what I would tell so you, man. And, and look, uh, congratulations. There's very few people that get to go to China. Like I, I didn't even know you could have internet there. Dude, come on, man! I got a VPN. Yo, yeah, you is, VPN. is most of the propaganda we hear just bullshit? Well, uh, yeah, I can't even say that. Look, I'll tell you this. If I, I, I've had, uh, if I say something, I'll get a call. I, I've had calls directly from numbers that aren't traceable. Like yeah. you, I, I can't, you can't speak on this stuff here, especially as a foreigner, as uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, good, uh, man. Go there and make a, make a big contribution. Make a big contribution. Yeah. It's going to be part of your right resume. What are you, 26, 27, 28? Yeah, studying Chinese. I'm, I'm, I'm almost professionally fluent in, in, a, in a working environment and speaking Mandarin. So, you know, that's the goal. Yeah. You know, it's getting over this. Time dude, 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 you, hey, every just eat it right now. You got to bite down and eat it. Make it taste good. Swallow. Do it quick uh, and, and learn everything you can. Build your resume and, 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 and think about the future. Don't think about right now, man. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Dude, love you. Love Thanks, Grant. So, see, look, man. Look, how many of us fight with that problem? Okay. When, when he gets through this, if he doesn't blow it, he's going to have a resume that's strong. Guys, pay the price today. Pay the price today so you can pay any price in the future. Problems of Work. The author is L. Ron Hubbard. Problems of Work. L. Ron Hubbard. Okay, I've read, I don't know, probably 25 of his books. Uh, let's see. New Zealand's in the house. Guyana's in the house. Um, if you, if you want to find those books that I talked about earlier, somebody says, what's those four books again? Go to grantcardone.com forward slash improvement. Improvement. It'll, it'll be the four books that, 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 that uh, I would recommend right now. Everybody gets their head around. Okay. Also, for all of you out there, I think Jer uh, Ryan was going to come in. Uh, congratulations to the almost $3 million 
bought $12 million worth of real estate last week. Uh, $745,000 came in today. That will buy about $2.5 million. Those are investors that are securing their future. See, like, like you guys are like, oh, I'm going to get rich. I'm going to get rich. I'm going to get rich. You cannot get rich if you don't invest. Impossible. It's never been done. Nobody ever does it. You do not get rich just working at a job. So if you guys are doing, we're talking about the law of attraction earlier. Okay. If you are going to get rich, it will only be because, because you invest, not because you work hard and not because you have talent. Okay. I'm gonna bring a guy in right now. Ryan Seco. Ryan, how you doing, buddy? Hey, amazing. How you doing? So Ryan, uh, I want you to tell everybody, first of all, you guys follow Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Seco. He's also pilot Ryan on, on Instagram. Um, Ryan's 35 years old, Ryan. Yep, 35, almost Okay, if you don't know Ryan, you, if you guys don't know, know Ryan, Ryan, tell them your story. Tell them what you invested to become a pilot, why you spent the extra money to, to, to take the time out. And you guys, listen to this story. It's very, very important. Yeah, and, and the last guy on your on your stream, I'm, I'm listening to that. And, and ego, my whole life, has always been on, on my left shoulder, just, just always telling me, hey, you know, it, this is beneath you or whatever else. Uh, but I've always pushed through that because, and that's why I'm here with you today, uh, because I, I, I truly believe in, in, in doing whatever it takes to, to get where you want. So anyway, my name is Pilot Ryan. Uh, I started flying airplanes when I was 18 years old because I wasn't really good at anything else. And uh, my uncle wanted me to do it the slow way. So when I became a pilot, I got my private pilot license. And then when I realized I could actually get paid to do something like that, I was like, man, I want to go all in. I want I wanted to get this done so fast. To where I can become a professional. Um, and so what Grant was mentioning before is, is so I decided I was going to get a loan. I was going to dedicate my time. I was going to do whatever it took to, um, in the shortest amount of time, become a, a commercial airline pilot. And so from the age of 18 to 20 years old, I studied uh, uh, two to three times per day, flew twice a day. And by the age of 20 years old, uh, I was completely certified as a pilot. So right, right just yeah. real quick, you yeah. paid, how much did you pay to do those courses? So, so total, so my, the, just the pilot training portion was 80,000. And then, and then when I was in, and then total school, my total schooling with college degree was 120 grand. So you invested, he didn't spend folks. He invested 120,000 so he could, uh, fast track. Instead of five years, youngest instead pilot of, in America. Instead of five years, I took it down to two. Okay. Now, so, so that's the number one rule. Okay. That, that he did. I want you guys to hear this. This guy is working with me every day today because of that investment he made that had nothing to do with me then. He didn't know me when he was 17. You guys have to invest, okay? So go on, Ryan. I just want to fill in the gaps here so people understand what really happened for you. Yeah, yeah. So, so no, at the, at the age of 21, uh, I got hired on at a commercial airline. And, and, and from there, I thought I was set. Like, I, I honestly thought that you know, be, being a pilot was going to be the career of, uh, of, uh, for the rest of my life until I was 60 years old. And, and what happened when I was 24, 25 years old, I've always had in the back of my head, because my uncle was a, a contractor, he was always into real estate. And I've always wanted to be in real estate, but I just didn't have the money to do it. So as I started making money, I was 24, 25 years old, I was actually able to start buying houses and duplexes and fourplexes. And so that's what I did. Now, now, when you did that, did you invest any money to learn how to do it? Oh, for sure. I mean, I did. I did all the courses, and you know, your your course wasn't around at the time. I wish it was, uh, but I did. I did every course because I wanted. I wanted again. I wanted to fast track. And what did you invest in those courses? Um, each course that I did ranged from ten on the low end to thirty thousand dollars on the high end. So, okay. so, so I did one for 10, I did one for 30, and then I did every real estate uh, uh, meetup on the planet for four years. Okay. So now, <laughs> which is you, crazy. Then, you then went and bought 21, 21 units, uh, made a little bit of money on them. Okay. By the way, some people are asking about the courses you did. Guys, I'm going to tell you the course that you're going to do on the real estate. I'm going to give it to you, by the way, rather than you guys paying $40,000, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a course that you can do in six or seven days. Um, so you invested, uh, you invested in the courses and then you started buying real estate, right? You yeah. ended up with how many yeah. units? Uh, 21 total. It, 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 it was, it was uh, 
uh, uh, fourplexes and duplexes and single family houses. Okay, and then and in Scottsdale, then, Arizona. Then he's online one day. He's like, he's what were you searching for online? You had twenty one units. You were still a pilot. I was searching what what does cap rate mean? What, what what's a cap rate? What uh, what's 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 NOI? What's because? But didn't 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 you start looking around because you were a little frustrated because. You, you felt like you had become a, you were man, spending all your time managing the properties rather than buying them. Well, well, yeah. And, and, and when I was looking up NOI and cap rate, I, I, I wanted to do bigger deals. Uh -huh. You know, I, I want, I wanted to do, I wanted to do deals that were 50, a hundred units, 200 units, because I knew that I couldn't be the manager. Like I had 21 units and I was going crazy taking phone calls from Daryl and Donna in Georgia. You know, they were calling me on the weekend. So I'd be, I was, I was a pilot. I was a pilot four days, four, five days on, and then on my four days off, I was coming home. And I was becoming a. You're coming a, home to voicemails. Hey, the toilet's plugged up with tampons. Yeah, yeah. So can you send somebody over? Yeah, yeah. I can send somebody over. It's called Ryan. <laughs> well, I was so cheap. I was I was so cheap. I didn't want to call the plumber. Yeah, yeah. And and the properties weren't making enough money, really. Right. So Ryan looks up online. He runs. It. What video did you see of mine, Ryan? Was it a real oh. estate video or was it? You'll never be rich or millionaire. What was it? It was probably one of your power players or, or the Cardone zone. You know, I, I started I started grooving into to what you were talking about. And you kind of had a mixture, right? You were talking about business and also real estate. And and and, and I just remember I was like, man, you, you were just you were just saying stuff like like you were skipping. You're like, hey, look, the most important thing about real estate is finding the deal. The most important thing about real estate is finding the deal. The most important thing about real estate is finding a deal and you wouldn't leave that alone like like you weren't getting all confused like oh you have to start an llc and you have to do this and you have to do this because everybody else was telling me like all these confusing things and you were like hey the most important thing is finding a deal and i was like that's the truth yeah and so ryan came to work for me by the way guys i didn't have a plane we didn't have a pilot this is some of you were asking that you to be, believe in the law of action i said law of attraction i said yeah i mean whatever i think things are mental but Ryan gave up his job as a pilot that was paying him 120 grand a year. He invested. Oh, that was crazy. Huh? Pe my family and people, my f people around me thought I was crazy. Yeah. He invested again. This will be the third major investment he made. He puts away his job, drives across the country, comes to work with me for a shit job below his ego. This is back to the ego question earlier. He ended up not, he went from being a pilot, probably. Uh, you know, you know, hanging out with all the flight attendants and oh, on his oh, trips, sure. and and who knows who else? Uh, probably probably <laughs> some of the luggage guys, and then and then uh, and then maybe both, maybe that both, whatever. Good. That was good. <laughs> we don't challenge we don't challenge people's choices, and so <laughs> he comes to work for me. I think we were paying thirty six thousand bucks a year plus commissions. And fast forward, you've been with me how long now? Over six years. Yeah, he's vice president of Cardone Capital. We raised three hundred and sixty million dollars in the last twenty months. We raised seven hundred grand yesterday. Two, two, what? Three million last week? Uh, no, four point five. Four point five million. The four point five we raised last month, the last week, last week came from accredited and non-accredited investors. Yep. Okay. So I say all that to you guys. By the way, Ryan sold his twenty-one units, invested the four hundred grand. This is the fourth investment he makes. He invests four hundred grand with me. We turned that into $1.1 million. He's already cashed out that deal. That, that took three years. So back, back to the point. Yeah. You can be the most talented. You can work your ass off and still not get rich. Do you agree with that? 100%. Most, you most, invest most, most, most people won't. You got to invest. You, got, you guys got to invest. Okay. I bought $2.5 billion worth of real estate. Now, you can invest with me at Cardone Capital, or you guys can just come in and, and watch this stream that I'm going to do, a webinar next Saturday, I think. Not this Saturday, the next one. What date is that? The 28th. It's the 28th. 28th. Yep. Yep. Maybe somebody can throw the website in there, grantcardone.com forward slash REI. Oh, yeah. Grantcardone.com forward slash REI. It's going to be two to three hours long. It's free. Yes, I've read The Science of Getting Rich. I've read uh, Think and Grow Rich. I've read... Uh, richest man in Babylon. The richest man in Babylon. Guys, you got to make investments. You can read all the fucking books you want. Ain't nobody ever got rich reading a book. I mean, you got to make investments. 
The reason you guys keep reading books is you know you don't know something. Right. I'm For going sure. to simplify real estate down so 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 much simplicity. Like every course that Ryan's done, I guarantee you they didn't talk about how do you exit. Do you know your buyer when you buy it? When you buy, do you know who can buy from you? Okay, you got to know who your buyer is going to be on the way out. Okay, you got to know, can I weather the storm? Can I go through the COVID thing that could last two or three years and, and still keep my property? Okay, how do you find the location? How do you underwrite it? How do you know how to get a loan? How do you know a piece of property that is actually more valuable than your credit score? I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I buy real estate. The people, people, they don't even care about my credit score. They want to be on the deal. Okay. How do I know what lender to go to? Certain lenders want deals and certain lenders won't do a deal. It doesn't matter if you're Mark Cuban. So the website's uh, grantcardone.com forward slash REI stands for real estate investing. Okay, I'll teach you the game. I cannot buy all the real estate in America. I'd like to. They say you look like a UFC world champion on the. Yeah. <laughs> you see my, you see my, can you see that? What does this say? Ain't, ain't no virus gonna, what? I can't see the bottom. Ain't no virus gonna stop us? Yeah, ain't no virus gonna stop us here. Let me, this is at our store, guys. I think these are 20 bucks or something if you wanna buy a shirt. Shirt won't get you rich, but some people like shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't, ain't no virus gonna stop us. Yes. So look, <clears throat> there's no there's no tricks to getting rich. Bottom line is, if you don't invest, you will never get rich. I mean, unless your daddy leaves you with a bunch of money, that won't make you rich either because you didn't do it. Okay. I remember your uncle, the uncle you went and lived with. What did he tell you, Ryan, when you went to live with him? You were uh, 13, I think, right? I was I was 13 years old, and and I, and I wanted something like like I knew I knew you know we're all born with a gift right but 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 some realize it sooner than others and um you know look he told me a lot of things one of the things he told me is he said and you you kind of you know but but he he said he said Ryan he said he says if you're gonna do one thing he says he says dream he said he said he says I want I want to help you dream so big that even if you come up a little bit short it's still so much greater than the people who aren't dreaming. Yeah. And, and, and I know he told me a lot of things. Is that what you were going after? Or, no, no. Well, the one thing was, hey, come live with me and, and, and do what I do. Come work with me on the weekends. Oh, and, yeah. And I'll get your car when you're 15. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That lit my, like, that lit my light so quick. Like, when he told me, he's like, hey, Ryan, if you do what I tell you to do and you come to work with me after school and on the weekends, I'll get you a car when you're when, – he said when I was 16, when, when I got when I got grooved in two and a half years later, I talked to him into getting me a car when I was 15. It was a badass car, and he started letting me drive. I got my learning permit at 15 and a half. I started driving 15 and a half. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, what, what's the point of that? The point is not the car. The point is, hey, look, I'm going to go do what somebody else says, and there's going to be a there's gonna be a victory. He if you guys target. are working someplace where there's no victory, no way out, but Ryan kept improving, by the way, the, the, co the uncle that he had didn't want him to go do that plain thing, but he knew it was the right thing. Right. Right. Because may maybe the uncle, maybe his uncle couldn't think, dude, why are you going to take on all this debt? Because Ryan believed in Ryan. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ryan Seco, pilot Ryan, Ryan Seco, follow him on Instagram. He's a good dude. Uh, his number, if you want to text Ryan directly, 305-407-0276, 305-407-0276. We have this much room left in our non-accredited fund. Minimum's five grand to invest. $5,000 buys about $15,000 worth of real estate. You cannot fake real estate, folks. Okay, you either, the real estate's either real or it's not real. Stock market, you can fake a whole bunch of stuff. Look at WeWorks. 305-407-0276, 305-407-0276. Um, I would advise every person here, if you have, if you have $5,000, I'm going to close this fund. When it closes, I'm not going to take any more non-accredited investors. Okay. You can expect a 15% internal rate of return. This is what we target properties to do, a 15% internal rate of return. You get all the same benefits that I get from the real estate in the proportion that you invested. My funds in the past have had in excess of 30% returns, 
Okay. I know I have deals that do 40 and 45%. So I can't tell you these are going to do that. But if you're on board for a long-term investment, if you like real estate, if you have a good attitude, now, if this is your last five grand, I don't know if I'd do it. Okay. If you got a bad attitude, don't do it. If you, got, if you think you need $5,000 by the end of this year, don't do it because it's going to be a liquid. You put the money into this investment, you sit and wait for it to grow. It will it'll provide cash flow. It will be protected against loss. It's going to be influenced by inflation that we're going to go into, okay? And the old adage is don't wait and invest. Buy real estate and wait. Yeah, invest and wait. And that's what I've been doing. I Somebody said here, you can, you can get rich with shirts. No, you ain't going to get rich with shirts. Okay? You're going to get rich investing in a company that produces millions of shirts and are even smarter, just, just does the drop piece portion of it and, and handles the distribution. You have to invest to get rich, folks. Hey, Ryan, thanks a lot for being here. You guys follow Ryan. He's a good dude. Uh, you can text him direct with questions, 305-407-0276, 305-407-0276. If you want to do your own real estate deals, if you want to do your own deals, maybe you want to do both, but if you want to do your own deals, uh, sign up for that webcast that I'm going to do, uh, uh, that I'm going to do grantcardovencom forward slash REI. Okay. I want to tell you this last thing. Okay. Not the last thing, but I want to tell you this. Um, if you guys have questions, what is $20,000 return? Blah, blah, blah. Text Ryan 305-407-0276. Somebody will text you back and set up a time to answer all your questions. Um, 305-407-0276 if you guys want to invest. You guys got to learn how to invest. You got to start making investments and quit making investments where you're going to lose your money. Quit making investments where you lose your money. Quit making investments where you're going to lose your money. Okay. Um, somebody says you're broke. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm broke. We own $1.8 billion worth of real estate. So I don't know how I go broke. We have 1.1 million, uh, 1.1 billion dollars on the real estate. That means we have about a uh, 30 percent, 35 percent debt position to our acquisition. We have about 65 percent debt. So uh, the cat, the property's cash flow. So like just because the whole world's going to hell uh, doesn't mean everything's going to hell. In fact. This will prove to be the next 24 months. There will be a window opened in America for real estate investing that I have never seen in my lifetime. I was telling A-Rod this this morning on a telephone call. I said, A-Rod, I guarantee you, we were both saying there's going to be some opportunities, okay? You're going to see opportunities created in the multifamily real estate market that have never existed in our lifetime. It's going to be the next decade is going to be the best 10 years of multifamily real estate investing that I've ever seen. I've been, I've been doing business for 35 years since I was 25 years old. And I can just tell you guys, like I've seen a lot of markets. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. Okay. I've been, I've been through the savings and loan bus. Most of you weren't old enough to remember that 2001 internet, but uh, 2001, nine 11, uh, collapse, the 2008 housing crisis, 19, uh, 73 all embargo. Like I've been through a lot of stuff started with nothing. Uh, I got business that does about a hundred million, 150 million bucks a year. Another business got 350 employees. It's got a uh, billion dollars worth of real estate. So we do webinars that do some of our webinars last year did, I think our webinars did six or $8 million last year. I did one event last year that made $9 million, one event. So I can help you guys. Uh, if you want to learn to work from home, you, you got the e-commerce game you're playing. We did $40 million in e-commerce last year. Uh, we got an online program that does 20 million bucks every year. Like, like these are, these are enormous numbers for a guy going broke. <laughs> okay. I got two beautiful kids, a beautiful wife, and I want to help you guys. 305-407-0276, 305-407-0276. O two seven six. Ryan Secco is the guy you'll text. He'll hit you back, explain it to you. If you're not serious, if you're not ready to do it, don't don't bother him. Okay. We have this much room. I think we have two million dollars left. Our average investor does about twenty five thousand non accredited. So I might have room for a hundred people, eighty people. 
and I have 40,000 people in a database that are already said they're interested. So if you're interested, good. If you're not, no problem. Okay. If you want to come to this training and learn, if you want to learn, somebody said, happy birthday, Sabrina. Okay. Uh, if you want to learn how to do what I know about real estate, and by the way, all my investors are going to be there. Okay. We have 3,700 investors in my real estate fund that have invested uh, $360 million in cash. Happy birthday, champ. They're saying, Aww, so sweet. okay. Um, our investors are on my trainings because I want our investors to know what we're doing. Most of these big institutions, they're never going to tell you what they're doing. They're not going to explain to you what they're doing. Okay. The number is 305-407-0276, 305-407. I was telling a rapper this morning on the phone, a very famous rapper. Everybody would know his name if I said his name. He's like, dude, how do I get my money to start multiplying? I said, bro, you, you can't buy Ferraris and bracelets and watches and you got to take the money. Number one rule of money, you cannot lose the money. Don't lose when you make investments. He's like, how do, how, how, well, it, 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 there's no such thing as a sure thing. Oh yeah, there is. There is a sure thing, okay? So number one, invest in yourself. Make yourself know when you can trust somebody. Can you trust your partner? Say, dude, look, you think you can trust me? Okay, let me show you this real estate. Look at the real estate. Is it real? Is there a real address? Are there real people living there? Am I a real person? Okay, how much do I own in this real estate? Who bought it first? I bought it before you did. You take your money, you basically are buying a position in the real estate that I've already purchased. That's a safe deal, okay? Then you get cash flow. First, don't lose your money. Two, only invest in things that provide cash flow. Three, that have a depreciation ability, tax advantages due to the IR and the S. I love you, okay? Four, four, that have the ability to appreciate long-term. You're not gonna lose money, okay? So that also the last thing, and number five, is when you leverage $3 million, you make sure that $3 million binds you about $10 million worth of assets. That's called leverage. That's how people get rich. So I am duplicating not what individuals do, but the Brookfields, the Equity Residentials, the Goldman Sachs, the JP Morgans, they use money, cash, trash, garbage, fiat. They use money to leverage into assets that provide cash flow. And as long as they buy assets, the cash flow, they keep them and they never get in trouble. It's when they leverage into assets that don't provide cash flow that they get into trouble. That's why Warren Buffett sold all that airline stock. Uh, a week and a half ago. Okay. Okay. So if you want to learn how to play that game, I'll simplify it. I'll make it so easy. Every neighborhood in America from Compton to Chicago to South Carolina, to Greenville, South Carolina are going to provide the opportunities that I'm talking about and we'll be sharing with you in this webinar, grantcardone.com forward slash R-E-I. Okay, last thing I wanna tell you, we're gonna get through this virus thing. People are tiring of the virus, okay? People are tired of the mask already. They're tired of the damn gloves. It's all bullshit, folks. The whole thing's been made up, trust me. A year from now, we're gonna find out the whole thing was over-exaggerated, okay? Big fucking deal, big deal. Oh my God, oh my God, it's such a big deal, okay? George says, don't use Compton in the example. Same thing, bro. There's opportunities in Compton, pal. I guarantee you. Every neighborhood in America, there's Baltimore. Inner city Baltimore, there's opportunities. In every neighborhood in America, I'm going to show you deals where I guarantee you will make fortunes. Know what to buy, when to buy, how to buy it, how to underwrite, how to get debt on it. Um, dude, we're going to get through this virus thing. We all going to get through it, Okay. And now I'm going to get through it on the other side of it. I'm going to be bigger. I suggest that you guys start screaming at yourselves. Swim! You need to start swimming. You don't need a love and you don't need hug. Okay? You guys are waking up every morning. You're waking up every morning thinking, thinking it's going to be all right. It ain't going to be all right, folks. You got you to gotta understand that it's not going to be all right. You're either going to be better and bigger or you're going to be smaller and worse off. And that's it. There is nothing in between. Okay? You can, you can spiritual yourself to death on this deal. You can be grateful, count your blessings. You can do all that you want to do. Okay? 
you can always find somebody worse off than you. You can always make sense of living below your, your potential. Okay? You can live a life sentence of not being the person you're meant to be. I never worried about going to jail. Okay? I worried about staying in jail my whole life because I lived below my potential. This whole planet's like a goddamn jail. So if you guys want to, if you want me to help you, if you're willing to take somebody that's hard, that tells you the truth, to keep pushing you forward and, and, and keep showing you the way out, and, and you need somebody that won't let you settle, okay? I'm not the guy you're going to love every day, okay? I'm the guy that's going to say, stop it. Quit making sense of this bullshit. I asked one of my people today, would you sell today? Well, I got these many leads working and I got this many referrals. I said, I didn't ask you any of that bullshit. How much money did you bring in today? Okay. Everybody on this street, you need more money. Your family needs more money. You cannot lead from behind. You cannot lead from behind. Okay. If you're left behind, you cannot lead. If you don't have money, you cannot lead. It's impossible. If you're worried about your money every day, you're worried about, oh God, I gotta go pay this, I gotta go pay that, I gotta pay this, who's got my money, where's my money? That's from behind you, okay? Everything you want, everything you deserve is in front of you, okay? You cannot lead from behind. Please DM me that. You cannot lead from behind. It is impossible, okay? It's time for everybody to grow up. Grow up, man, okay? The government's throwing money at you right now. They're trying to convince you that they're gonna take care of you. They can't take care of you. It can make you weaker, okay? No, no, no mask can protect you. No gloves can protect you. Your immune systems are being suppressed. Your economy is being suppressed and your dreams are being suppressed. You cannot lead from behind. You're being left behind, okay? You're being suppressed. You're being held down. You, but, but you have to agree with being held down to be held down, okay? Your immune system's being suppressed. Your economy's being suppressed. Your freedoms are being suppressed. Enough. Swim. Swim. Okay? Don't quit. Struggle. You need to scream at your customers right now when they don't want to pay you. Okay? What are you going to go bankrupt? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you want me to send you a quitter t shirt? Okay? No virus. It's going to stop us. Ain't gonna stop me for sure. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Okay. Make sure you follow. Make sure you hit that little thing so you get these in the future. You might need them going forward. I'm gonna be here. If you find this inspirational, great. But I really don't care. Okay. You need to find the action. What are you going to do? Okay. Quit writing a, 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 a quotes on your walls and whatever you write, be willing to do it. You gotta do it. Okay. If you're gonna get rich, you're gonna invest and get rich. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get rich saving money. It's impossible. It's never happened. Ain't going to happen. It's never happened in the history of the world. You cannot get rich saving money. You can only get rich when you save. So don't say you're going to be rich and then you, you hoard your money like a little bitch. Okay? Love you guys. Be well.